Hello, everyone, and happy Friday. Today is August 21st, 2020, and this is another edition of our bi-monthly um, virtual career fair updates for the two weeks um, beginning on August 10th and ending today on August 21st. We have a lot of activity, or we've had a lot of activity on our job board on the um, web page. Um, we have 12 new job posts, 12 new job posts, and, and they just keep rolling in. Um, just before I came on to do this presentation, um, we got a couple more. So let's take a look. As always, um, our eastlandfairfield.com and go over to alumni in business and search jobs. Hit the search and let's take a look at um, the uh, 12 employers or 12 different job posts or not 12 different employers um, that we have on here. I'm gonna start with one that is down at the very bottom and this is just a hiccup in our um, job board. Lopus Point is a organic waffle um, manufacturer and they are not far from Eastland Career Center. Um, the first time she posted was on August 13th, 2019. So um, a little over a year ago and she wanted to put the post back out there again. And instead of updating this date, which our system won't allow us to do, it put it right back in the same spot. So anyway, with that being said, um, it does say this is culinary arts, but it's not limited to that. This is a part-time position, $10 to $12 an hour. Um, and you will be helping in the preparation of the waffles, um, all different flavors. I've had them, they're delicious. Um, chocolate chip, blueberry, pumpkin spice, and banana flax. So um, 15 to 25 hours a week. She is down two people, so she's really looking to um, beef her staff back up put, or waffle her staff back up and get um, more waffles out the door. They are shipped all over the country, so um, this isn't just a, a, you know, just stocking in the store. Um, so I have been to the operation, very clean. Um, and organized and just a lot of passion right there for, for what she's um, creating and sending out. So um, if you know somebody that maybe is looking for a part-time job, 15 to $25 an hour, uh, or 15 to 25 hours, 10 to $12 an hour, um, please be sure to share this with them. But remember, it's at the bottom of our, of our page. So um, you'll, have to, you'll have to scroll down or they'll have to scroll down. So let's scroll up to the first one for this week. The first three are actually all from the city of Upper Arlington and all three very different um, um, positions. So the first one is an electrician. Um, you see the pay there, um, very respectful pay in that area. Um, and then you can go through and read the long list of job responsibilities. Um, which you know has the job description in it as well. The qualifications, associate's degree or equivalent, equivalent from an accredited two-year college or technical school. So any of our students that have went through the electrical program here would be qualified um, to uh, um, apply for this position. And um, licensure certification, um, it just says, um, oh, this is for traffic signals, I believe. Um, so anyway, take a look at that. If you are an electrician or you know somebody who is that's maybe looking for a different opportunity, here's one for you or them. The next one at um, City of Upper Arlington is a, is a, would be a student that um, might be from our landscape design management. It's a park service worker um, who will be taking care of the parks and and outdoor spaces of um, Upper Arlington. It is a part-time position. So um, that would be something to consider if there's a way that that could fit in for somebody. I don't know if they list here the hours. I don't think 
they do. I took when I took a look at this, it doesn't look like they do high school diploma or GED and six months to one year progressively responsible related experience. So just showing just showing that you have some skills and integrity for showing up um, to the to the job to get the work done. Next one for Upper Arlington is a criminal justice is a police officer. Um, they are hiring a full time police officer for Upper Arlington. So if you are from our um, um, either our criminal justice program and you're over 21, or if you were from our um, basic officer training, basic police officer training with our adult workforce, this would be another um, area of interest for you or somebody you know. All right, next, um, City of Groveport is looking for a lifeguard. That is a lifeguard for their indoor pool. Um, in their recreation center, which is a beautiful facility, part time, almost $11 an hour. And this is an early shift, 545 to 115. So um, you'll be taking care of and watching um, the folks that come to the pool. Uh, I think the only thing the pool there is open for are, is, are the laps in the lap pool. And they may be getting back into doing some of their um, aqu aquatics um, classes like um, water aerobics or something like that. Um, I also think, I, if I remember correctly, I saw on their outside electrical sign that they are starting swim lessons. So, but I don't know that that would be 545 to 115. But anyway, that's that job. Um, after that, we have an auto job, an auto mechanic job with JNA Auto, 13 to, 13 to $25 full time. JNA is located um, in Pickerington. And you will ask for Ray. Um, and let's see, you get um, valid driver's license, five paid holiday, time and a half overtime, vacation from day one. Um, five days sick time, the first $250 each month is paid for um, the current private medical and dental. That's awesome. And then 3% dollar for dollar payroll match, simple plan, which is similar to 401k. So great opportunity here. Um, high school diploma or higher education preferred. Again, if you were from the Career Center and you were either in Mr. Chance's or Mr. Trapier's, um, program um, recently, this would be a great opportunity for you as well. Next, Amerisource Bergen is looking for, and I think I have another um, post for them that's not on this, and I'll get to that in a minute. They're looking for a custodian full time, 15 to $17 an hour. So keeping the surroundings clean where the employees are and, and where um, staff is and uh, making sure that everything is up to par. There are two shifts here and that's the difference 1550 an hour for the day shift and $17 an hour for the night shift. So um, that is with Amerisource Bergen. And let me take a look. I think I have another one from them. Um, yeah, I do. And I'm going to bring that over here. A warehouse associate, third shift, um, looking to make a difference. Okay, $17 an hour. This is a, a third shift, 10 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. with a $500 sign-on bonus. So um, I will put this link on our, um, on our website and I'll show you where that'll go so that if you are interested in this, um, you can go right to our website and take a look at it. So um, not bad there. It, this company is, has been here for a while in, uh, and they've added on. They've built on to the facility in Lockbourne, which is right down the street from Groveport. And um, I think that if you are, um, if you are a hard worker and you want to, to make a difference in your career, uh, starting here as a warehouse associate and moving up is, is a possibility with this company. So, and then you can watch the video on here as well. 
All right, so let's get back to um, GFS chemical. Um, these are a little different. Um, I'm, they'd never give us the pay, which it, that I, I wish they did, um, because I understand if you look at this and say, well, you know, is this going to be worth my time or not? I mean, some you can really take a look at and say, well, I can't live on $10 or $12 an hour. I need at least X number and you, you have a starting point. Um, but they don't give that to us on, on GFS chemical. And um, so, but if you have these qualifications that are listed in the description and all other things being con considered, um, I would um, check out the how to apply. And Allie Mitchell is your contact and she has her email and phone number there. So assuming that maybe you can call and um, find out a little bit more about it and hopefully you get more information than we have. The next one is also GFS chemical, but it's a different position. It's a maintenance tech, again, no, no pay listed. But I will tell you this, that um, we have on our current list of employers calling us for employees, maintenance tech is the biggest one of the biggest needs, but it is something that we are really working on in terms of trying to create some customized training around so that um, these, these companies that have these positions open up can fill them with people who have the skills. So a maintenance technician is different from your custodian. So when I showed you the custodian in um, Amerisource Bergen, that's somebody that is responsible for the cleanliness of the environment for the area in which they work. So that would be um, floors, toilets, sinks, um, mirrors, garbage. So that's your custodian, or it might sometimes be called janitorial. With your maintenance tech, your maintenance tech has got to be somebody that is the jack of all trades. And by that, you can see right here, um, it is um, in HVAC, plumbing, electrical. There might be some groundskeeping that needs to be done. Um, per, you know, purchasing equipment, installing equipment, troubleshooting, fixing, and repairing equipment. Um, and here's where it says professional certs, HVAC, electrical, et cetera, preferred. Um, so that those are some of the things that we are working on. And if you are interested in finding out more about um, what a maintenance tech specifically does outside of what you can read here, please um, on the YouTube video, my contact information is there, reach out to me because our plan is to connect um, the workforce, those who are available for the workforce and are willing to, to, to get some training and match them with these employers that need them so desperately. So um, I would say that the pay here is really, really good because this is a very competitive area and all these businesses that need them are paying well because they're competing for them. So um, let me know if you need more information about a maintenance tech. Okay, so patient services rep. This is an interesting one. I had a, a call um, with um, Zach from Advocate RCM. And what they do is they do the billing. They do a lot of billing for um, a radiologist. And so that's the Advocate um, Revenue Cycle Management. They do all the back billing for radiologists. They've also recently acquired, and let me get my notes out. They've also recently acquired, um, let's see, oh, um, merge and acquisition for an anesthesiologist, dermatology, and orthopedic. So they'll be, this is going to be a huge growth area, um, and it will be um, very interesting to watch this develop. Um, with this business. They have been growing, as they called it, organically um, for the last, let's see, they've been around since 1998. Um, they're in 44 states, and right now their current location um, in Dublin is up near Tuttle Mall. So um, this involves some skills in um, troubleshooting, problem solving, um, Word, Excel, 
um, a lot of the Microsoft Office type um, skills. So that is listed in here as the patient services representative. And now Brookdale Lakeview Crossing is looking for a caregiver. This is a facility and is part-time and $11. Um, but this is a facility here in Groveport, not too far from the Career Center. Um, it is a, um, an assisted living, I think they have an assisted living, assisted living and memory care. And I don't know if they have nursing home but anyway, um, this is uh, um, as needed. So this does not have a regular schedule. This is part-time and as needed positions that can grow into full-time starting at $11 if you don't have your state, um, if you're not a state tested aid, an STNA and $12 if you are. So this might be a perfect opportunity for somebody who's going, to, going on to post-secondary. Maybe it's one of our students who took, uh, got their STNA through nursing and now they're going to um, school for, um, or they went to our pre-nursing program and now they're going to school for a nursing program and they need a part-time job for some money. This would be a great way to um, be able to accomplish that. Okay, um, innovate building solutions. This is construction, uh, construction labor installer, full time, twelve dollars an hour. Um, they're looking for they're looking for a lot for this. Um, they prefer previous construction, but not required. Um, so you can check out the you know installation of windows and doors, um, and uh, there was oh. Vinyl replacement, glass block windows, entry doors, various carpentry and masonry duties, installation of organization system closets and garages. It sounds cool to me. I would just, I hope that this isn't the pay that anybody going into this construction labor installer would be starting at. There's too much out there um, to make that a um, starting pay, but that's what they have listed here, so we will move on. Uh, the last one to come in today is from AMCO, which is a transmission company, and they are located in Reynoldsburg, and they're paying a decent amount, $17 to $40 an hour for full-time auto tech to conduct vehicle inspections for mechanical. So I have a problem with my um, transmission, I take it to AMCO, and they, the service tech will check it out and let me know how many, thousands of dollars it's going to cost me to get it replaced. Perform automotive repair and other duties as a sign. You must be able to work on all kinds of makes and models of vehicles and have your own tools. Um, 18 or older, Monday through Friday, they are eight to five and there looks like overtime's available when it seems to be necessary. So contact Tommy Rumke on that one. All right, so I had mentioned about our um, job fair, alumni and business virtual job fair. So you will find this video down here. It'll be update number nine, and I will list the businesses that I mentioned here, and I will connect this um, warehouse associate within this area here. I don't think that we have anything else out on our job fair, but I, uh, in terms of a new video, but you know, I don't, don't forget to keep checking them out. I mean, we have a lot of videos. I have the updates here. I'll probably move those to the bottom, but we still have two men in a truck. I had a conversation with the mayor of Sourceburg and Thompson Con Concrete, um, two different conversations there. Um, Oh, here's the, here's the video from Amerisourceburg and that's also over here. Um, so either way, it's in both. Farber Specialty Vehicles, which um, makes customized um, RVs and buses and um, vehicles of multi-use multi vehicles. Performance Columbus Family of Dealerships, that was, that is a um, local dealer. Here, uh, THK Manufacturing is in Looking County. Workline Solutions is a is like a placement agency. Carroll Place 
is another facility that needs um, like STNAs or caregiver caregiver type uh, employees. ACE Handyman Services is another construction type. Trilogy Health is another STNA. Um, George J. Igel is a construction company. And then we've got two um, submitted videos from um, businesses, Corna Cocosing Construction and Zulily, which is one of the um, maintenance, one of the businesses that's looking for a maintenance tech. So they are on here as well. So I think that's it. I, I love the fact that our employers are still calling us and, and um, wanting to put information on our job board. So hopefully um, that is being utilized by those that need a job. Um, you can also check out our um, LinkedIn page. Um, we do have a LinkedIn Eastland Fairfield has a LinkedIn page. You can find us on there, um, as well as um, all social media. So, all right, well, it is almost four o'clock on Friday. I hope you have a great weekend and thank you for um, checking out this video. Good luck in your job search. See you again.